here come the lights. We've got three, four, five red lights in the Silverstone. And it's lights out and away we go. It's a good start from San Anita. Quite a bit of wheel spin, no, in the second phase. But he's clear of Max. The Evil Dragon has jumped ahead of the duck. And uh, the two Alphas are going wheel to wheel uh, through s turn one there. And then the... Who's that? That's Vectro. Gone right off the track. Comes straight back on. Almost spins oh, the damage. duck as uh, there's wing damage for somebody. Evil Dragon's dropped down the ducks. Now back up to P3. As Max has got a great run in San Anita. But we've got a car off in the background there's an almighty crash in the background that is uh, Ollie and Vlado Vlado in the wars again no safety car or anything Max he couldn't quite get close enough but look at this we've got Evil Dragon trying around the outside of the duck can't quite get it done we have another spinner in the middle of the pack there that was Kalajia uh, in the midfield there unfortunate for him on his debut as Evil Dragon is trying out the inside of the duck. Incredible racing here as Max is also so close to Serenito out front. Who do you look at at the moment? There's a four-way fight, it seems, for P3. But battles going on all over the place as Max has got a great run in Serenito. He's going to go right out of here, up the inside of his teammate McLaren's going wheel to wheel for the lead. And Maxi takes the lead of the British Grand Prix. Serenito has to just second, settle for second for the moment. Evil Dragon doesn't pull in the pits. So what on earth happened on that first lap, Liam? Absolute chaos. Yeah, it's. Uh, I told them all. It's not just a look at Delta. Delta. Delta oh, sick. unbelievable! You know, I watched half of Delta's lap, and he did exactly what I said to, for him to do: keep it clean. So just talk over uh, here, Liam. Here comes Sanito for the lead. He's going to go up the inside of Maxi. Well done, brilliant move. Clean up the inside, but Max is coming back at him, looking around the outside. Serenity goes a little bit wide, but perfectly positions the car to cut off Maxi from any undercut there, uh, or switchback, should I say. Uh, but Maxi now will have the slipstream right down through all turn one. And uh, Delta behind is going to have a great run at Vectro. Can't find a way past, although Vectro will run a little bit wide there. And um, meanwhile, actually, Max has just picked up a three-second time penalty, which is very early in the race to be picking up those kind of things, um, especially with no front wing damage. So, unfortunate for him. But uh, we're going to have to go back to that, though, because here comes Max up the inside of Serenita. What a scrap this is already. Oh! oh. There's battles all over the place. A bit of wheel banging. Vectro is trying to hang on from Luke 2 Red. And he does so, but whilst he was saying that, Serenito was all over the back of Maxi, <laughs> although for the lead, Maxi is going to retake the lead up the inside, down the hangar straight, an easy enough move. We're looking at Delta now with the DRS on Evil Dragon, can't get past. Meanwhile behind, Luke 2 Red is going wheel to wheel with Vectro, and so too is Delta and Evil Dragon. But Delta can't quite get oh, past. Yeah. There goes the Mercedes at the inside. Oh, that could have ended in tears. And even ahead, Delta and Evil Dragon are still going with Twitter. I don't know what battle to watch at the minute. As Hammer it now is all over the tail of Quinton. And for the lead, here comes Serenito. Up the inside of Maxi. Takes the lead. And um, an easy enough move. Here's Maxi Delta. can't come back. Here comes Delta now. Around the outside. And he gets it done. Super move. And uh, I feel Evil needs to get in the pits ASAP. I mean, and here comes Maxi for the lead. And they're going wheel to wheel. Nearly a bit of contact there with the front wing of San Anito. So I don't think it's is. I don't think it's as easy going as as we may think, Liam, because uh, that was getting quite tight there. Maxi almost covering the inside there, as San Anito closes right up to the tail of him once again. But um. I mean, we've had six laps here, and the leaders have been chopping and changing position every single lap. I mean, it's unbelievable stuff, really. Yeah, the leaders, third place, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. We've looked at every position in the first six laps, and uh, I think we're going to be looking at the front position again. Yep, here comes Sanito, trying it around the outside this time. Maxi defending a little bit more, and he's going to hang on for the moment. Sanito not being able to find a way past his teammate and I feel we'd be talking about these two throughout this race here we go here comes Serenito he's got to have him now 
and um, an easy move. And this is why I think, Liam, that they they can't a be messing around here, uh, chopping and changing positions, and it can't be tactical. Because, uh, I mean, here comes Maxi now. They're going to go wheel to wheel down the old start finish straight. So, this is a proper fight here between the two. Selenito on the inside gives in to Maxi there. Um, you'd, I'd, I'd have to say he, he lifted quite a lot to let his teammate by. But I, I do think this is dangerous, Liam. You're, like you're saying about the duck catch, they can't be messing around. Because the duck will get close and there'll, there'll be no tactics from the duck. He'll be getting the move done straight away. Yeah, the duck, the duck can smell it. He's ready. He's ready for this fight. Here we go. Serenito now going to take the lead of the British Grand Prix up the inside of Maxi. Max can do too much about that one. And uh, his defence is not long lived. Only a couple of laps. It's going to be the battle to who gets in the pits first between the two McLarens. Here comes Serenito. Tries it around the outside. Now on the switch, but that got very tight. Almost drove into the back of him. Maxi pulls in the pits. So he tries the undercut. Surely the duck's got a pit. He has. So now this puts Serenito in a bit of a perilous position, Liam. Yeah, if he's been saving any fuel or has any extra fuel that he can burn, now is the time to use it. Just Serenito comes in then. So I think Serenito's going to lose out to Maxi by quite a bit. Uh, and he's going to have to be a bit careful of the duck as well. Well, let's have a look at the gap. It's 26... Uh, 28.6, sorry, now 0.5. It's fluctuating a little bit. He's losing time, um, as you would imagine. Here we go. Nice, quick change. No delays onto the medium tyre so all eyes now on where is Max, he's coming through the penultimate corner right now, it's a very slow pit lane this one it's going to be so tight. Maxi now crossing the start finish line there's Serenito coming out of the pits and Maxi is surely going to get this done just but he is ahead of his teammate but they are essentially almost just come out as they came in the pits and he'll get DRS here and for how long that's the thing Maxi not quite letting his teammate breathe past here Just has a look around the outside can't quite get it done there yellow flags that is Oli Quirky in the final corner but oh, um the duck has got a free second time penalty uh, I think he'll just be happy to be up there, to be perfectly honest. Right behind, uh, right behind the duck. Mm. Oh, safety car! Now, then. now, now then, Oli Quirky, he's absolutely lost it into turn one. And I tell you what, that's really costly. They've got to pit. They've got to pit at the back. Interestingly, Carrot, I know we know he's got to pit again, but Carrot Finger is the only driver not win penalty as he pits now. Ah, oh, it's rotten luck, really. I think he's probably just accepted it. He's probably just accepted it. Get a fresh set of softs on. Um, I mean, well, it's not a bad idea. He field. can he can easily do it now. Oh, now it's coming oh, in. Now that's well, a late call. Um, I think to keep in mind here, Luke's got 11 seconds of penalty, so rule him out at, at the moment. But Max is still on AI. Max has still got his thing paused. Has he not realised the safety guy's coming in? He's got his thing on AI, on my screen. I think he's going for it now. Uh, we are green. He's now. It still he's says he's on AI. He still it still says he's on AI. I don't believe it. He's gone for it, but unless that is a glitch on the screen, I don't think it is. Look how slow he is in the corner. God, this could be absolutely race changing for him. It's definitely on AI, Liam. This is catastro catastrophic stuff for him. Catastrophic. <laughs> you know what I mean. Well, I don't know. He's, def he's defending it. No, no, he's, he's good. He's still it. on AI. He's definitely on AI. And he's getting absolutely robbed here. The duck's gone right around the outside. Now Delta's gone around the outside. He's still on AI. He's absolutely thrown this race away. And that's got to be one of the most costly 
um, errors of judgment I think I've ever seen. Oh, oh wait, Quinton on the grass, touching wheels. We look too red just before Max and Beckers. I don't know why he was trying to run the inside through that corner. That would have been an airplane crash. He's now all over him on the exit. Luke's on the grass as well, trying to get past Max. They're going to go free wide. And here comes Evil Dragon just behind as well. And this race is going down the drain for Maxi and um, I mean have you ever seen a costly mistake as such as this Vectro now looking up the inside and I mean yeah, Hamrick on the outside of Vectro oh Hamrick on those fresh soft tyres flying along terrible exit though as Vectro breezes past we've got Quinton Gaming up the inside of Evil Dragon now who's coming straight back at him can he chuck it up the inside he does he goes for it can he get it done Brilliant move, and Hamrick has now found his way past Maxi as well, who's now passed by Kalaja with Vladis just behind his way. He's going to get no points. Do not go anywhere because this could be absolutely mega. You can see the top three all in the same picture as Evil Dragon goes round the outside of Luke Two Red. A super move from the Alfa Romeo driver, Luke Two Red. So need to no problem. Oh. What's happened there? Serenito's had a mega moment and he's lost the lead of the race. Astonishing. I don't know. Didn't catch it. He's going to come back at Luke. Um, the duck, sorry. He's got DRS. But, I mean, an unbelievable mistake. And, um, I mean, surely it must have. It just maybe got too hot through Magnus and Beckett's, I'd imagine. Or, I don't know if um, you caught it. No, it was, it was sort of out of cops. He was just really, really slow going into Magnus and Beckett's. And you can't really go off the track. I mean, he's just set a purple final sector, so it's clearly maybe woken him up. Um, but here we go then. This is this really is a freeway fight now for the win. And uh, Max, he's binned it. Oof, he has binned it. He has returned, if you like. And that's a full oh. course safety car. Now then, uh, who's that just darted in the pits? Somebody's pulling the pits. Evil Dragon. Evil. Um, well, I tell you what, it's unacceptable from Maxi to be doing that, even if he is frustrated. I mean, it's his own fault leaving it on pause. But, um, well, that has thrown Throw another layer in it. Yeah, I mean, ah, it's a shame because it was so close between the top three. I mean, the duck will be delighted with that. I mean, it's going to surely last it's right until the last few laps. Yeah, it's going to be a very short one or a very, you know, a normal one and last a while. Uh, as Dark Shadow's binned it as well, I uh, don't know what's happened there. I think he's just, just literally, I'll have a look from Evil's point of view. I can't believe Serenito's made that mistake. Uh, I'm looking at Dark Shadow. He's just dropped it on his own. He's lost the front left tyre in the middle of the track somehow. So unless he's had the biggest of crashes. Oh. Did they pull in the pits? No, they didn't. Um, the duck nearly did. He tried to do one of those... Um, dummies. Yeah, who did yeah, that earlier on? Luke's pulled in. Luke's pulled in. He's released them all behind. <laughs> Carrot Finger could win this race. He's on the. Oh he's not God. got a penalty. Quinton Gaiman has got 11 seconds. Counterfinger could win this race if he can clear Where? Quinton Gaiman at the start. I mean, that would be the shock of all shocks. Where he's currently P5. I think it is quite early. It's, it's coming right. in. Here we go. It's a bit earlier than the time before, so the duck has got time to prep this safety car restart. It's got to be one of the the most dramatic races of the season so far and there is still another few pages still to come because it's lap 24 to 26 and what is going to happen here in these final few laps of this chaotic British he's Grand Prix gone. and he's gone for it he's slightly caught Serenito napping Serenito is still there Delta right on his tail Carrot Finger has been caught napping here at the safety car restart he has a bit of a gap to Quentin Gaming, but the duck gets us underway two laps to go then and there is a decent enough gap Quentin Gaming is right on the tail of Delta he's got loads of penalties though so this is not for position um, but Delta so, think, go on 
crucially, Carrot Finger still within three seconds of the duck. So as it stands right now, Carrot Finger will win. He's just outside of Oof. victory position at the moment. What a lap that is! Three point four. Three point four is the gap. The duck has got a penalty. He's got a three-second time penalty. Now, as so we now as, look at Serenito as the lead car. Oh my god, what drama here. We've got a car off and at the back, that's Evil Dragon. So it's six seconds for the duck. Yeah. Does unless Carrot Finger. Oh, he's, he's hit Quinton Gaming. He's on the inside. He's got ahead of him, though. He has got ahead of him. So the gap is 3.7. But I mean, we've got to do some serious maths here uh, to work out the gap, though, from Serenito to Carrot it's Finger. Be about half a second off the victory as it stands. Oh my god, what drama here. It is so tight. I think it's literally three tenths in it. Here comes Serenito though. He is fighting to win it on track. The duck is right on the brink here. Here comes Serenito looking to the outside. Can't get it done. And um, he might have to just put his sensible cap on here and just settle for a second. Uh, but the duck is going to win the British Grand Prix on oh. track, but he's not going to do it because Serenita will I cross know. the line to take it. Here I we know. go. Oh. No, he's missed out. He's missed out by just under a tenth of a second. Serenito wins his first ever Grand Prix in UPL. And what a race that was. Carrot finger from absolutely nowhere. Is so so close from snatching it. The Delta in the end finishes ahead of the Duck to pick up uh, the, a couple of points on his title rival. Hamrick gets P5. I mean that is just one of the, the that is the race of the season I've just seen right there. <laughs> Look at that. Two Co British drivers on the podium. Two British drivers on the podium didn't win though unfortunately. <laughs> in terms of that aspect, oh that's not biased before anyone jumps at it. Um. But yes, Serenito, fastest lap, pole position, and the race win. But if you looked at that, you'd think it was quite a simple race for Serenito. Anything but what a race that was. Garrett Finger from P12 on the podium. Delta from last onto the podium as well. Although he'll be slightly disappointed not to maybe finish P2. But, um, well, amazing race to watch. And I will go to you now, Serenito, if you can hear me. Um, bravo. Yes, well done. Awesome. <laughs> you, you, you hadn't even Thank had you. you hadn't even had a podium in your UPL career before. No. And you've got the lot all in one go. Fastest lap, pole position, and the win. But it wasn't as simple as that. Talk us through your race. Yeah, it was. And I mean, the last few races, um, I think I've been a bit unlucky. I spun out, I think, in Austria. And then also got hit in the first turn in the one before. And then this one, I knew I practiced quite a bit, and I knew I had good pace, did pole, but Maxi came out flying. The start was very, very good fight. We were alongside basically most of the time until he pitted a lap early before me. But it was basically DRS train. He overtook me, I overtook him, and so on. Um, and then I came out right behind him after the pit, and, and I saw that he, he was AI. He, I don't think he rejoined or something. He must have had an issue. I overtook him and then Delta was right on track behind and then the end was just crazy. I mean, <laughs> I, I, was, I was keeping an eye on Carol Finger because he was I had no penalties and I was okay. I was using the ERS max, everything max and then luckily I just edged the win. But yeah, it was a really good race.